Hello friends, today we are starting a new topic, this name as flexibility method in that we are starting analysis of indeterminate trusses means we are starting a problem on trusses. In previous lecture we have done with this Clapeyron's three moment theorem and flexibility method. So let's start the analysis of indeterminate trusses means problem on trusses problem number one. So let's see in details. Now see friends we have in flexibility method in flexibility method we have done with this Clapeyron's three moment theorem and we have done with this flexibility method of beam and frame also. Now we are starting today over here is analysis of indeterminate truss problem on trusses or you can remember that the problem on trusses the in exam 10 marks question is compulsory for on trusses. So this is a analysis of indeterminate truss let's start with the question number one. The question number one will be analyze the frame shown in figure analyze the frame shown in figure from the forces in the various members full stop all the members may be assumed to have the same l upon ae value all the values have the same l upon ae values and this is a question given to us and this is a question given to us in exam this is a 10 marks question compulsory in mumbai university now let's see in this chapter only you have to remember compression means minus and the tension means plus compression means minus the sign will be so like look like this and the tension will be so sign will be look like this how will you remember see tension is nothing but positive the sign will be two arrows are kissing each other two arrows are kissing each other is nothing but tension two arrows are away from each other is nothing but compression you have to remember this part okay now let's start with the solution in this types of problems we have follow some steps so let's see what are the steps we have involved over here so let's start with the solution okay now first step will be here is step one will be degree of redundancy degree of degree of redundancy now see as that as the question says analysis of indeterminate means this truss is indeterminate now we have to determine this truss so first we have to check the degree of redundancy means dse and dsi we have to check over here here we have to check dse will be See, first we have to check DSE degree of external redundancy as yes, see in first chapter DSE is nothing but the formula will be DS is nothing but R minus 3. So R minus 3 now we have to take the, just see the questions we have how many reactions this, this is a hinge it has two reaction this is a ruler it has one reaction means R will be 3. So this will be 3 minus 3 is equal to 0 means degree of external redundancy will be 0 means our structure will be stable in external redundancy now let's start with dsi now dsi will be degree of degree of internal degree of internal redundancy as you know the formula of degree of internal redundancy will be how will you check in trusses see how will you how will you check in trusses we have a formula is equal to m minus 2j minus 3 this is a formula to check the dsi in trusses as we see in the problem number sorry prob, uh, as we see in the chapter number one in a structure analysis two okay now see the member will be now let's take the diagram and member will you see this one two three four five and six this whole is one member this whole is one member so one two three four five six the member will be comes over here is six minus two j is nothing but joints joints will be one two three four there are four joints minus three okay so six minus eight minus three there will be this will be six minus five it will come one means total will be total is equal to 0 plus 1 will be 1 means our structure is indeterminate in dsi in 1 so what you have to do is now let's take the next step our next step is number 2 step number 2 what you have to do now let ad 
be the redundant means now see friends see the diagram the structure will dsc will be zero but dsi will be one means we have to remove one member so always remove this diagonal members don't remove this part because if you remove this it is no truss in truss we want the box distance okay so always remove this diagonal member so either you will remove ad or you will remove cb that the, st that the structure will be stable so we are removing a and d means we are removing this part okay or you can remove this part also so you can write over here is remove remove member a d we are removing member a and d now after that remove the a d member and then draw the diagram and let's take the our step number 3 will be step number 3 will be p analysis in p analysis what we are doing we are just draw the diagram as it is but remove this member a and d so how will you draw we'll draw like this now see friends we have to find this value this is 4 meter this is also 4 meter this is 4 4 all the values are same now we have to find now we have to find this value vc hc and vd we have to find this reaction now either you can find reaction in the problem in first one also or you can find here also so we will find the reaction first so how it will come taking taking moment at c equal to 0 clockwise positive to find this vc so find vd sorry so what's the value will come see this 5 will going this direction means clockwise so take a rod and fix it see this 5 will is applying over here so this is going rotating in clockwise direction so 5 into 5 into 4 distance positive so you will write 5 into 4 after that minus vb into 4 vb into 4 is equal to 0 here vb value will be 5 kilo newton so your vd will be 5 kilo newton this is vd not vb okay this is vd friends okay now summation fy equal to 0 upward positive now see this vc is unknown then minus 5 this is also plus 5 is equal to 0 means vc will be 0 over here so this value will be 0 now since there is no horizontal mode, that's why h will also get 0 over here so we got this all three values now what we have to do in p analysis now we have to find all now we have to find the forces in all the members uh, at member a b at member a c at member c d or at member b d or at member b and c is nothing but p analysis so how will you find c in sa2 we have to apply in trusses you can directly apply the shortcuts which we are studying in the structure analysis one or either you will if you are not if you are not uh, gone through the shortcuts of the trusses please refer the video of structure analysis one trusses problem okay if you want to now we will apply the we will apply the condition of equilibrium in all the joints and we get the all the members forces okay so to go for the piece basics first now see since first we are taking joint a we are taking joint a since there is no load over here see friends when you are taking joint a just only consider this part just see the joint a and the rest of the things you don't want to see see if you are considering joint a see how will you draw the fbd of joint a see friends joint a we are considering first either you can go for the basics or you can directly write so we are taking joint a since there is no load this will be p analysis p a b here also we don't know the value so you will write p a c okay now see friends uh, now we have to apply the summation fx and summation fy trusses as you all know in trusses we are applying summation fx is equal to 0 summation fy equal to 0 now since there is no load over here that's why it will get 0 there is no load over here that's why also it will get also 0 over here so you will update over here is here there is no load over here that's why it will get 0 
there is no load over here that's why this value will get directly zero now see see at join d here is no load since this is zero now see here 5 kN is going upward so to oppose this what we have to see this arrow is going upward direction to oppose this we have to apply arrow like this two arrows are not kissing each other means it is a compression this is nothing but 5 kN 5 kN okay now friends we want this value we don't know this value so you will apply joint C now friends C now we have to take joint C and we have to find this value this a c b value we don't know how much is there in here so either you will take joint b or you will take joint c since there is this is also zero this is also zero this is also zero this is also zero means it will directly you have to write at zero over here or you can solve by summation fx is equal to zero summation f y equal to zero you will get the zero value only so now we have done with this p analysis now let's start with it fourth step will be k analysis Step 4 will be K, K analysis. Now in K analysis, simply we have to draw the diagram, but don't draw the loads, 5 kN, draw the diagram as it is. Remove all the external loads means this 5 kN and this you this we have to remove all these things. Now write it over here A, B, C and D. Now friends see in K analysis what you have to do since we are removing this AD part okay. So you have to apply AD like this. Always take the this direction always this direction is correct okay now this will be one kilo newton this is also one kilo newton since two arrows are kissing each other means tension so you will apply over here also tension always friends okay we are removing this part we are removing this part so we will apply one one kilo newton like this now we have to resolve this one kilo newton over here and this one kilo newton over here this one kilo newton over here and this one kilo newton over here means we have to find this angle theta so how will you find theta tan theta is equal to opposite upon adjacent see when we are finding this theta opposite will be 4 4 by 4 4 by 4 so theta is equal to tan inverse of 4 by 4 will be i think 45 is there so friends the theta will be 45 degree comes over here okay since there is a 4 by 4 means distance will be same now see what you have to do friends now see if you are resolving this 1 kN over here like this, so always see friends, this 1 kN is going up, okay. Now we have to resolve this 1 kN over here. So see the, when you are resolving this over here, the sign will be get changed, see. This 1 kN is when we are resolving over here, this will go in this direction. So to oppose this, you have to apply in this direction. You will apply like this. Okay, since there is with respect to theta, so you will write 1, 1 cos theta, its value will be 0 0.71. Okay, when we are this theta, you are applying over here, so this will also oppose its this direction means compression. This will be 1 sin theta is equal to 0 0.71. Since there is a no angle, this is this why it's sin theta. When you are 1 resolving over here, See this one is going in this direction to oppose it you have to apply arrow over here when we are resolving over here the arrow will be going up to oppose we apply the arrow from the downward same as it is over here when we are resolving this theta over here so this will come like this this will be 1 cos theta will be 0 0.71 same as it is. 1 sin theta is equal to 0 0.71 okay since there is a 4 by 4 that's why the value will not change in previous sum we will take the value will be changed okay now see friends always remember don't don't you have to solve again and again always apply the shortcuts because we have to save the time in exam okay so always remember this things take a rod and put it over here when we are applying this rod comes at cd part it will go like this 
in this direction to oppose it we have to apply this direction over here this one is like this always k analysis will be look like this only he okay so you will refer this as carefully now we have done with the k analysis also now after that our fifth step will be table now now we have to draw the table now Now friends see we have to see this table now I am already write all the values just we have to see now see first you have to see P means we have to see the P analysis diagram member A B P analysis will be this member A B will be 0 right over here 0 and A C A C with A C is also 0 0 then A D A D is also 0 then B and D see B and D will be two arrows away from each other means Compression. Compression is nothing but minus. As we see over here, compression is minus two arrows away from each other. T is nothing but tension plus two arrows are kissing each other. So it will get minus 5. Then B and C. B and C will be 0. 0. Then B and D, C and D. C and D will also be 0. We will write over here 0. Then K. Then it comes to K analysis. C. Two arrows are away from each other. Compression minus 0 0.71 minus 0 0.71 minus 0 0.71 minus 0 0.71. Two arrows are kissing each other. Tension positive one and one means A D will be C. A and B. A and B will be minus 0 0.71. Then A C. A C will be minus 0 0.71. Then A D. A D will be one kilo. Two arrows are kissing each other. One kilo newton. Then B and sorry B and D. B and D minus 0 0.71 then B and C B and C two arrows are kissing each other tension plus one then C and D C and D two arrows are away from each other means compression minus 0 0.71 after that PK into all this PK over here 0 0 0 3.55 0 0 summation PK now K square 0 0.71 the whole square 0 0.504 0 0.504 1 0 0.504 1 0 0.504 summation K square will be 4.016 summation pk will be 3.55 f will be uh, final force will be p plus r k p will be 0 over here k will be minus 0 point sorry r c how will you find r to find r formula will be minus summation pk pk upon summation k square summation pk upon summation k square so pk will be 3.55 4.016 in formula there is a minus so this will minus 0 0.88 over here okay so 0 plus r will be minus 0 0.88 into k will be minus 0 0.71 is nothing but 0 0.62 okay then 0 0.62 minus 0 0.88 minus 4.37 0 0.88 0 0.62 here is our final answer of the final force of the trusses okay now we have done this problem now we have done this problem number one now what we are doing just I am remind you now see just I am reminding you since the chapter name indicates analysis of indeterminate trusses this is indeterminate truss first we have to check the whether the structure is stable or not stable in DSI and DSE so DSE will be R minus 3 get 0 DSI get 1 means total will be 1 redundant over here so let AB be the redundant we will remove one part after that P analysis find all the forces then apply K analysis or find all the forces applying 1 kN over here. I hope you understand this videos and previous videos of the trusses and yes don't forget to share with your friends. Thank you.